Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, where I'm continuing to record the World Puzzle Federation 2015 Round 5, which was a set of puzzles created by Serbian constructors for a puzzle competition back in 2015. Um, this is a 50-point puzzle um, out of the 600 from the entire pack, which would have meant that um, for if you were trying to be competitive, you would be wanting to solve this puzzle in about 10 minutes. Um, so if you can do this in 10 minutes, you're doing great. If you can do this in about five minutes, you're a world champion. Um, and I'm hoping to do this in maybe around 15 to 20. We'll see how we go. Um, so what are the rules? Uh, in the description below, you will find a link to the uh, this puzzle, um, as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. I'm going to restart. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to explain the rules first. So normal Sudoku rules apply in every box, in every row, and in every column. Um, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then there are some thermometers in the grid, which are these shapes. Digits on a thermometer are strictly increasing from the round bulb. So this must be larger than this, this must be larger than this, this must be larger than this. And the same is true on all of these shapes. Now, the interesting thing is there's recently been some discussion and uh, around uh, ruling of thermometers and how we're using the term strictly increasing um, and how but they've said there's no reason to say strictly increasing. Who started using this? This is 10 years old, this pack, and this is the wording that was in the pack. On these videos, I'm using the wording that was in those. So 10 years ago, we was, uh, they were saying strictly increasing on thermometers. So all of this new debate around, we shouldn't have added strictly increasing to thermometers. It's redundant. It's been there from the very beginning. So cool. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So is there anything I can do with Sudoku or am I looking for patterns on thermos? I don't know. Because, I mean, I could just pencil mark all of these thermos, but for example, I could ask where is one in this row because one has to go in one of those cells because I can never put one partway along a thermo and I can never put nine in a bulb, but they're important. But I'm trying to decide, do I just pencil mark this thermo and see what I find? I'm trying to see if there's any patterns I can see. So two can't go in any of those and two can't go there. So two is in one of those, but that's not a problem, is it? So what is this? This is a maximum of eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four. But that's not much. Four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. So that's what it gives me because I can't put three here. So this reduces it to three options. That's not telling me much. So seven uh, could go there. I was saying seven can't go here because that would make this seven, eight, nine, and I can't put nine here. So seven is in one of those three cells, but that's not telling me much either. Eight in this box can't go in those, could go here. So it could go here, 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 but it can't go there. So eight is in one of those. This doesn't feel... I'm not following. I don't want to just pencil mark everything, do I? So one in this row is in one of those two. One in this column is in one of those three. But two in this box is in one of those. Nine in this row is in one of those two. But there's always release valves. This is a maximum of eight. So nine in this row is in one of those three. Because I can never put nine on this thermo. Is that doing anything? Maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum five, maximum four, maximum three. So one three, because it can't be two. Oh, this is four. 
because this has to be one or three, because maximum eight, because it can't be nine, maximum seven, this can't be six, so it's maximum five, maximum four, maximum three, but it can't be two. So this is one or three. So this has to be higher, but it can't be two or three. So this is four, five, because that's its maximum. This can't be six or so this is seven, eight, and this is one or three. So this was actually quite forced, but that hasn't done anything for this column yet. But that was way more forced than I thought. It does put five up here somewhere. And this is now got a maximum because this is now maximum seven. So maximum six, maximum five, and this is maximum three. So this is a one, three pair. So this can't be two. So this is three, four, five, four, five, six, and five, six, seven, which hasn't helped as much as I wanted. But these now aren't one, two, three, four, five. So these are six, seven, eight, and nine. which two in this row is in one of these two. These are one, two, three, and nine. So that's one, three, nine, but the others are one, two, three, nine, and I think they can be any of them. So is this more restricted than it looks? Because maximum nine, maximum seven, maximum, maximum five, because it can't be six, maximum four, maximum three. So this is a one, three pair because it's maximum three, but it can't be two. And this can't be two. So this is three or four, four or five, five, six, sorry, five, six, seven, and six, seven, nine. But this one, three pair means this isn't a three, which means this isn't a four, which means this isn't a five. So that was more restricted than I thought it was, but it's not quite enough. I don't think. So I've got one, two, three. Five in this row I know has to be over here. So if this is four, this is, oh uh, no, this could be four, six, and that could be five. But four can't be in any, four is in one of those three. Um, the pencil marking has helped, but where's the pressure? This is a maximum of six because it can't be nine, eight, or seven. So this is a maximum of six, maximum of five, maximum of four, maximum three. So one, two, three, two, four, because it can't be three, four, five, five, six. And that gives me a five, six pair, making that a seven. This is a four, five pair. This is really weird. Now that's not quite enough to give me. But the four, five pair might do something on this thermo considering this is a maximum of six. Actually, no, it can't be nine, eight, seven, six, or five. This is, a, this is three, two, and one because it also can't be four. So that's three, two, one. And the one here makes this three. This can't be one or three. This is two, four, five, six. This is weird, but finding that was cool. The five looks down making this four. The six looks down making that five. These working to, oh, and it had an F5 in it as well. I just noticed. The three makes this one. None of that removes anything from these, except four in this box has to be right there. So four is in one of those two. This is a three and a one. I could have used the three looking across to do that.
four is now not here. So this can't be five or six because of the way the thermo increases. One and three comes out of those. So this can't be two because it has to go up. Four, five, six, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does that break? Not yet that I can see, but it probably does. So let's look at this thermo. Because this is maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven. Oh, it, it, it does just work, doesn't it? And this is maximum six, but this can't be one, two, three. So, oh, it can't be maximum six. This is maximum five because it can't be six and it can't be one, two, three. So this is four or five. This is five and this can't be six. So this is seven, eight, nine. These are way more restricted than they look. The five makes that the four. And it means this isn't five, so this isn't six. This is way more restricted than it looks. These are now one and two, and the two looks like making this the one and that the two. The four looks like making that the two, which doesn't restrict this any further. But I've done most of the thermos now. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. No, not six. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine, and there's an eight in this box. So that's the nine, and that's the eight. I it kind of feels weird. It doesn't feel like I've solved anything here. I've discovered it, which is the sign of a really nicely set puzzle. Yeah, this is really cool. Two is in one of those two. Two is in one of those two by Sudoku, and that two is looking up. So this is a two. So this is five, six, seven, or eight, and it can't be five. Five in this box is here, which means this isn't five. This is six, seven, or eight. So nine is in one of those two. Eight, yeah, eight is in one of those two, which lines up with the fact that neither of these can be eight. So that's good. I haven't broken it yet. Well, maybe I have, but not obviously. One, two, four, and that can't be one or two. So that's the four They takes them out of here. And the two and the four would have given me that as the one earlier, but I just started at the top and worked it down. That means this isn't the two and this is the two. This triple maybe. One is in one of those two. I need to put three in somewhere. Could go any of them. And the other digit is eight, which seems to go in any of them. But this is three or eight. There's no seven here. So there is a seven on this thermo, which makes some sense, I suppose. I mean, it could have been six, eight, but now it can't. Five is in one of those two by Sudoku. Like, apart from the fact that there's a seven on this, the, the thermos are basically done. Right, I need to put a six and an eight in that row, and I can't put them in those two cells, and I can't put them where one, two, three, four, five is. So this is a six, eight, and that eight makes that the six, and that the eight. So these are the seven, nine, which I'm not seeing how to resolve, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are three and four, and the four makes that the three and that the four, which looks up making that the three. Which now, where do I put three in this box? It must go there, and these are one and eight, which means this is the seven, and this is the six, and that is the eight. This now is the digit that has not been placed in the row, which is a four, and these are five and six, and the five in column one is looking up, making that the six and that the five. These are from seven, eight, nine. Where do I put eight in this column? I can't put eight there and I can't put eight there. This is an eight, so this is seven, nine, and that's a seven, nine pair, making that a six. And this thermo is now done. All of the thermos are now done because whichever digit is, it goes in here is now above six. There is a one in one of those two. It must be here. So this is a seven or a nine. This is a triple, six, seven, and nine. There's no seven there, there's no six there, and there's no nine there. 
But, well, this digit is known. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that is a 9. And these are 1 and 3. The 3 is looking down, making that the 1 and that the 3. The 1 is looking up, making that the 8 and that the 1. These two digits, 6 and 9. So these two digits are 5 and 8. And the 8 is telling us that that's the 5 and that's the 8. So this is six or nine for the column. So this row has got one, two, three, four. It's missing its five. So this has to be seven or nine for the column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is seven or nine for the column, which means I've got a seven, nine in the row, which makes that the six, that the nine, that the six, which makes that the nine, that the seven, that the six, the seven looks up making that the nine and that the seven, which looks across making that the nine and that the seven, which looks down making that the nine and that the seven. And I haven't put a three in the middle box and that finishes the puzzle. 14 minutes, 13 seconds. I did say I was aiming for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm doing really, I'm pretty happy with how I'm doing on these. Um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with them too, which is even more important. Um, yeah. I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, if you're beating my times, congratulations. If you're beating, I mean, if you're not, congratulations. I mean, if you're having fun with the puzzles, you win. You're a winner in my book. Um, if you take an hour and a half on this puzzle and have a lot of fun doing it, you're beating someone who solves it in three minutes and then just forgets it, that it existed. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I, Yeah. It's just having fun with a puzzle is way more important than being really, really quick and then it just disappearing from your mind. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.